If you're aiming for success, beating laziness is crucial. Whether you're into business, self-improvement, or artistic endeavors, overcoming laziness is the key to reaching your goals. It's not about being busy all the time, but about ditching unproductive laziness. In this extract, we're diving straight into tackling laziness. We'll help you adjust your mindset with practical steps to become more productive and efficient. The journey to overcoming laziness is laid out here with strategies you can use every day. These strategies will encourage you to step out of your comfort zone and build self-discipline. This plan for fighting laziness and boosting productivity is like a roadmap for anyone striving to achieve their dreams. It's all about taking intentional action, staying focused, and setting yourself up for success. Remember, time flies. Don't wait until it's too late to chase your dreams. Start today. Your future self will thank you for it. Just a quick heads up before we get started. We put out new stuff every week, so make sure you don't miss any of it. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay in the loop with our latest extracts. Let's jump right in. Your life is in your hands. No one else will do the work for you to succeed. So, if you want something, it's up to you to make it happen because, at the end of the day, you care most about your success or failure. Keep your focus on your journey because no one else will pave the way for you. Mistakes aren't the end of the world, they're chances to learn and grow. The real failure is never even trying. To combat laziness, try personal reflection and goal setting. Each night before bed, take 10 minutes to jot down what you did that day and what's on the agenda for tomorrow. This little pause helps you see what's working and what's not. Review your day hour by hour. What did you accomplish? What got left behind? By tracking your actions, you get a clear view of how you're spending your time. This isn't just about being accountable. It sets the stage for tomorrow. Write down your goals for tomorrow and refine them. We often cram too much into our days and miss out on what really, really matters. Narrow your list to three high priority tasks that will make the most difference to you. This nightly ritual of reflection and prioritization boosts your productivity. More importantly, it's a ritual of taking ownership. It makes you face the reality of how you're spending your time versus how you want to spend it. Deciding what truly matters and committing to those tasks is personal responsibility and action. Remember, you're the only one who can make these choices for yourself. Embrace it, and you're not just planning your day, you're shaping your life. Growth can be tough. It means leaving our cozy comfort zones and trying new, sometimes hard things. But that's where the magic happens. Stepping beyond what we know helps us grow and become better versions of ourselves. Changing your habits isn't easy. We often slip back into old routines when things get tough. That's where the two-day rule comes in handy. Here's the deal with the two-day rule, never skip two days in a row. Let's say you decide to exercise daily. One day, life gets hectic and you miss your workout, it happens. But missing two days straight can throw you off track and make it harder to keep going. Consistency is key when forming habits. It's what turns actions into everyday parts of your life. Following the two-day rule means acknowledging that growth takes work and that work needs to keep going. It's tempting to make excuses and stay comfy, but breaking out of that cycle is how we keep growing. Self-discipline is super important. It's like the bridge that connects your goals to your accomplishments. Basically, it means doing what you gotta do even when you don't really feel like it. But let's be real. Getting stuff done can be tough, especially when procrastination creeps in. You know that feeling when you keep putting things off? Yeah, that's the enemy. But why do we procrastinate? Sometimes it's because we're too comfy, anxious, lazy, or just plain scared. Beating procrastination isn't just about having willpower. It's also about using smart tricks to turn your intentions into actions. Ever heard of Parkinson's law? It's this idea that work expands to fit the time you give it. So if you get yourself a week to do a two hour task, guess what? You'll end up stressing about it all week, making it seem way harder than it actually is. But here's the thing. By setting tighter deadlines, you can cut out the unnecessary stress and focus on what really matters. That's where the Pomodoro Technique comes in handy. It breaks your work time into short, focused bursts. 
usually around 25 minutes each, followed by quick breaks. During these bursts, you give all your attention to one task. Then you take a short break to recharge. This cycle keeps you sharp and stops procrastination dead in its tracks. Plus, as you get used to it, you can adjust the timing to suit your own rhythm. So, next time you're battling procrastination, remember these tricks. Set realistic deadlines. Use techniques like the Pomodoro Method and watch how your self-discipline grows stronger. With the right strategies, you can kick procrastination to the curb and reach your goals faster than ever. In today's fast-paced work culture, multitasking is often hailed as a hero of productivity. But here's the truth. Our brains aren't built to handle multiple tasks at once. What we think of as multitasking is actually just jumping rapidly between tasks, which can make us less productive and more tired. So, if you want to get things done effectively, it's time to ditch the rapid task switching. Instead, focus all your attention on one task at a time. By resisting the urge to switch between tasks, you'll do better work and feel more accomplished. The secret weapon against distraction is focus. There are two big strategies for staying on track. First, tackle the toughest task first. It's easy to start with the simple stuff, but that can lead to a false sense of productivity. Dive into the hard stuff first. Not only will you get it done, but you'll also give it the attention it deserves. And don't forget to silence those pesky e email notifications and put your phone in silent mode to minimize distractions. The five minute rule is another handy trick. If a task takes five minutes or less, do it right away. This helps clear out small tasks that can pile up and clutter your mind. By handling them promptly, you'll free up mental space for bigger, more challenging work. Plus, you'll keep your to-do list tidy and cultivate a proactive mindset toward getting things done. Incorporating these strategies into your daily routine can revolutionize how you work and learn. By busting the myth of multitasking and sticking to the five minute rule, you'll create a structured, efficient routine that supports both short-term productivity and long-term growth. Achieving success and personal growth isn't just about luck. It's about taking action and keeping an open mind to learn new things. When you're proactive and eager to learn, you'll find yourself reaching your goals faster and living a more fulfilling life. But here's the thing, the people you hang out with can make a big difference. Your friends and the environment you're in can shape how you think and act. If your pals are happy with doing nothing much, you might start feeling okay with that too. It's not just about peer pressure. It's about how others influence your habits and how you see the world. To keep yourself on track, it's important to choose your friends wisely. Look for people who inspire you and push you to be your best self. Surround yourself with doers, those who achieve what you're aiming for or are working hard to get there. It's not about judging people based on their achievements, but about making sure you're surrounded by the right kind of influence. Changing your circle isn't about shutting people out. It's about bringing in more of those who lift you up and challenge you. Be smart about the advice you take too. If someone hasn't been to where you want to go, their advice might not be the best fit for you. By creating an environment that supports your goals and learning, you're setting yourself up for success. Surround yourself with people who share your drive and passion for growth. Together, you'll not only grow faster, but also make a positive impact on each other's lives. As we wrap up today's video, let's remember that beating laziness isn't about just being busy all the time. It's about taking meaningful action and being aware of ourselves. So start by taking personal responsibility for your actions. No more blaming others or making excuses on your journey. Next, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Growth happens when we challenge ourselves and push our boundaries. It might be scary at first, but trust me, it's worth it. Self-discipline. It's the key to staying focused and committed to your goals. Train your mind to stay on track, even when things get tough. Don't forget to prioritize the work that really matters. Focus on tasks that align with your dreams and make a real impact. Say no to distractions and time wasters. Now the strategies we've discussed today, like reflecting on your daily wins and understanding how your social circle influences you, they're all practical steps you can take to turn laziness into fuel for growth. Remember, an action-oriented mindset is crucial. 
Stop overthinking and start doing. Break your goals into smaller steps and take consistent action. And finally, always keep learning and growing. Overcoming laziness isn't just about achieving your goals. It's about living a fulfilling life. Thanks for tuning in. We really value your feedback on our content. If you have any thoughts or book recommendations, feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Thanks for stopping by and have an awesome day.